I'm excited about where we're at presently. We started with a, a very good meet on the men's side at SIU. We had some guys step up. Jason Lumpkin and uh, Chris Losman were second and fourth that day. We also had uh, Tyler Mullen and Cody Martin come on board, and we're waiting for Brandon Funderburk's fitness to come around. He's a guy who was 10th as a freshman and has great talent and ability. Uh, so right now, where, we're at, where do I see our men? We were preseason picked third. I think we can finish anywhere from second to fourth. Uh, in the conference meet, it's going to be a battle with Eastern Illinois and Moorhead State for us to finish second, third, and fourth. And, of course, Eastern Kentucky's the class of the conference, as they typically are, and they just continue to reload their men's program. On the women's side, they actually have developed a lot of talent, and they brought three ladies in this year uh, from Kenya who are very, very talented and are going to be a huge impact to their team. Our ladies were preseason picked third as well. I think we can finish as high as second. We're going to be racing Murray State for that second place spot from what I can see right now. We're really pleased with our five ladies that are just in a tight pack. A 20 second gap at EIU was fantastic for us, led by Sandra Powell. Uh, we're waiting for Monica Noble to come around and she is starting to do some amazing things in practice. Last year she was ninth in the OVC. I see her as somebody who could potentially be an all-conference first team. And then we've got Liz Spiker who just missed last year uh, an all-conference spot. She's back running strong and of course we're led by our senior Linnea Voltved. Uh, she does a fantastic job of leadership with this team and she was a second team all-conference athlete last year for me so we have five potential ladies as well when you add Casey Owens into the mix five girls are going to be fighting for that top 14 and if we do that we're going to scare Eastern Kentucky I don't know if we'll beat them but we're going to fight for the OVC title we were nine points away last year and that made us hungry uh, I'm really excited just to get to the conference championship meet based on where we already are and I look forward to more results coming we have two races before the conference meet and and I think those races are going to be more indicative of our fitness level and what we've done this last three-week break without any running.